This is the third video lecture um, in the chapter on personality, and this one's going to probably be pretty short. I just want to talk about in this one some of the tests, a couple of the tests that are used that are used to measure the subconscious. Your, your textbook only really talks about one of them. They're called projective tests, and they're projective because again, the idea is that. Um, that you have the, the below your awareness, right? Your subconscious. To be Freudian, it's this notion of below your subconscious. Um, it's, you can't really measure what's below your subconscious. So the best that we can do is sort of capture um, your the capture aspects of your subconscious spilling out. And so the two the two projective tests that I'm most familiar with. Um, this one is actually discussed in your book, and it's called a, the Inkblot test, and it is a standard set of, of images. And uh, these are obviously not uh, not used anymore um, in clinical practices, but they were used in the 40s and the 50s. And a client would be shown, you know, a series of these images and ask, "What do you see?" And the idea was that the first thing you saw would be an indication of sort of what is spilling out of your subconscious. And by showing you multiple images, the interpreter would, or the therapist or the clinician or whoever, would observe patterns. So if you saw a whole, if you saw, you know, um, scary animals in all 50 images, or if you saw scary faces, or if you saw positive, you know, things in all the images, then that could be used as um, sort of an indication of what's going on in your subconscious. So it was really looking for patterns uh, in your interpretations. And so I don't know what you see when you see this image, but I always see a bat. And in my mind, these are his these are the claws right up here, and this is their eyes, and these are the wings. Maybe you know, maybe you saw food, right? And if you saw fifty pictures of food, then a, a, um, you know, a clinician might say, "Oh, well, you must be hungry, right? What are the kinds of things that you're seeing?" Another one that, if I can figure out a way to do in a virtual classroom, it would be fun. Um, are these images? And these were called the thematic. Apre oh, fiddlesticks, uh, a perception test. And the idea is this, it's very much the same, is that you would show an individual a series of these pictures, and these are some of the pictures, there's a whole bunch of them, I don't know, 15, 20, um, of these pictures, and then you would ask them the question here on the left, what's happening in these pictures? Who are these people? What's gonna happen next? How are they feeling? And then you look for patterns, right, and how people respond. When I've done this in class, it's kind of funny because it's been it's been humorous as to who the people are, you know. And and some students will see like all of them as something bad, like these down here at the bottom, you know. This man just killed this girl, and this woman just or just strangled her husband, um, or this guy here he's running away, and his wife doesn't want him to run off. You know, they'll see all these kind of negative images. Other students will see them like to interpret them like sexually and things like that. So that's sort of the, the point is that you're looking for these themes or these patterns and how people interpret interpret these. But again, these are not held up in any sort of therapy, therapeutic session, ther therapeutic um, realm because they're considered so subjective. So I'm going to stop here. And in the next one, the next video is going to be about humanist, um, humanist, personality theories.